Okay guys, so I'm going to show you something that I think you'll find interesting in this video. This is going to be a video about the Google CLI. Now just so you know, the way that I installed this is I actually asked Claude Code to install the Google CLI for me. I don't think I would have been able to do it without Claude, to be honest with you. So it's a little bit meta, but if you're struggling to actually get Gemini set up, I do recommend just asking Claude Code to do it for you. So if I type Gemini here, this should take me into the Gemini um, coding system. This is the Gemini CLI. The amazing thing about this is obviously the 1 million context window. We're going to see in this video how good it actually is at implementing something. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, please take a look at my link building service, how it's implemented, how it uses Gina search and Gina read, and how it makes decisions using JSON, etc. I have to say, this seems like not a direct copy, but a very, very, very similar copy of um, Claude, uh, Claude Code. Okay, nice. That's actually pretty interesting. So it um, it has understood that the link building.md file is actually wrong. So that's good. So let's see if it's managed to pick everything up. So Gina Search, Gina Scrape. Page shot. Okay. This is actually really, really good. How it uses Gina Search and Read. The link builder says use dedicated Gina Search. Okay. Pretty fucking cool, to be honest with you. The Gina service is well structured wrap around Gina AI, providing clean and easy to use. Okay. So let's just try a question here. How many types of links are currently implemented? Question mark. So the real answer to this is two. Let's see if it actually picks this up. So you can see, I can see search guest post opportunities. I want to see if it can actually pick up that there are two guest posts, uh, sorry, two link building types in this service. Now, if you want my best tips and tricks before they're on YouTube, definitely check out the school community. I'm trying to update this every week. Uh, you can see there's a huge amount of content here already. Um, and people have been able to use it to actually get into coding when they haven't really previously been able to code. I still love Claude Code, um, and these are every, this is basically everything I've learned about Claude Code in the last couple of weeks. Okay, beautiful. So you can actually see, best, based on the link types config variable in building service.py, there are two types of links implemented. Guest post, article submission. Okay, I want to add another link type. Here's the SOP on how we currently find this link type. Please. Um, make uh, please add this link type according to my current system right and then i'm just going to grab the sop now i'm not going to show you the sop oh it doesn't really matter i guess but the sop is here so i'm just going to hit enter here what this is going to do is it's going to hopefully quickly and easily introduce this new link type to my system i mean this seems insanely fast this is crazy This seems really, really, really fast. Um, so yeah, 92% context left. That is so much better than Claude Code. Claude Code would already be kind of running out of context. So I do definitely appreciate the higher context length. I also appreciate the speed of this. This is extremely fast. So now it's, I mean, this is, this is potentially better than Claude Code. Let's just see if it actually works, I guess, would be the main thing. For context, to add another link type yesterday using Claude Code, it took me about an hour and a half. Um, I've been doing this for about two, three minutes so far. Let's see how long this actually takes. So it says it's finished already. Um, can you push this to main? You should never do this, guys. You are connected to GitHub. You should never, ever, ever push to main. Actually, one thing that it didn't give me, it didn't give me the SQL. Can you give me the SQL to migrate the DB and push to main. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so no database is actually needed. Okay. Uh, can you run the commands yourself, question mark, or do I have to run them? It'd be pretty annoying if I have to run them, but that's okay. Okay, cannot be absolute, that's fine. So git add, yeah, good. And then it should do git commit. 
and then get push origin main. You should never push straight to main, guys. Terrible idea. Don't follow what I'm doing. I'm just doing this as a as a quick test. So that should now push to main. There we go. Uh, that that used eight percent context and took a very very small amount of time. So I'm just making a tiny little change here, just because I don't want to wait for it to find all the other guest post types or sorry link types. I want it to just jump straight into the changes that it's made. So I'm just asking it if it can quickly do image submission first and to find 10 images, uh, image websites. Like I said, I mean, if this can do this in that quickly, that is completely insane. Uh, so I'll just say, please, please push to main again. You should never, ever, ever push to main, guys, without testing. I'm just... Uh, there's a reason for it. I don't want to go too much into it, but basically because it's on a subdomain, I'm not sure how to actually test this stuff. Okay, so now what we do is we go to DigitalOcean and we log in. And we can see here a build has been triggered literally 19 seconds ago, it looks like. So this is what we're kind of building right now, guys. Just so you know, we're building stuff for SEO Grove. Um, SEOgrove.ai is basically a Shopify automation platform. It'll probably do WordPress as well eventually, but just for now we're doing Shopify. If you if you're curious, if you want to um you know become a part of this project, then just press join waitlist here, run through this, pay one dollar, sign up, and you'll get the first three months for $99 instead of $499. Uh just because we're testing, etc. But this video is not to sell Grove. I just want to just wanted to mention that. So if I actually go to the subdomain here, so agency.seogrove.ai. Okay, so we can see that actually did complete. No issues found whatsoever. So let's just refresh this. Okay, so here we go. Let's go, let's just put a name here, https 2 menip And we'll just launch campaign here. Let's see if this actually works. I'd be Pretty impressed if it did that in kind of under three minutes, as it looked like it might have. Okay, so let's watch the logs here. Let's see if this actually creates the job as it's supposed to. Let's see. Okay, wow. It actually... Jesus. Um, it actually did it. You can see here, finding image submission opportunities. Expect to count 10. So what it does is it does submit image plus luxury Italian menswear and looks at page one of those results, right? And you can see here, it basically just goes through them. It has an AI check to ensure that it actually is an image submission page. Hasn't managed to find any yet, um, but that might just be an issue with the prompting. Honestly, I'm impressed. Um, there's something not quite right about the SOP or something that means that it's um, it's not actually finding submission pages, image submission pages, but it's managed to replicate the exact same everything much, much better than Claude Code, right? Which is actually quite exciting because not only is this extremely cheap or free right now, it actually seems like it might be as good, if not better than Claude Code. Okay, honestly, I'm impressed. I think there might be a slight issue with SCP, like I said, but like overall, this is huge. This is this is actually huge. It's it's exactly cop copied my other agents, which honestly, Claude Code was not doing very well. Now, a couple of things to mention. Normally, when they first add a new whatever, it's good. Will it still be good in a week? Don't know. Will it still be better than Claude Code in a week? Don't know. But for the price, which is basically free from what I understand, the context length, which is a million, and the intelligence, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 for everything and actually say that as of today, it seems better than Claude Code. I'll be doing much more testing, obviously, because I use Claude Code daily. But I mean, the fact that you can just have them both as well is pretty insane. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Check out the school community. Check out SEO Grove if that's your thing. And I will see you very, very soon with some more content. Thanks, legends, and peace out.